welcome to episode 179 of The Corner of Knit and Tea. My name is Laura. I'm also known as Fluffy K on Ravelry, Fluffy Kira on Instagram and Twitter. I blog over at thecornerofknitandtea.com, and that's where this episode and every episode show notes will be. I have an Etsy shop where I sell my hand spun yarns, also called The Corner of Knit and Tea. And finally, we have a Ravelry group called The Corner of Knit and Tea. If you haven't come over and checked us out, please do. Hello, how are you? It is Sunday, April 15th, and it is a cold one here in Kansas. Uh, we had a couple really nice days this week, 70 and 80 degrees, and now we are back to freezing and snow flurries. So I uh, pulled out my flannel, um, which I usually don't end up wearing after about February, um, <laughs> and snuggled up with a cup of hot tea today. Um, we were out yesterday. Yesterday morning was maybe about 10 degrees warmer, close to 40. Um, and my husband ran a half marathon yesterday morning. I stayed in the car with my jacket in the heat, <laughs> but he ran yesterday and today, like I said, it's even colder and flurrying. Um, and we have already run our errands for the day. So now I'm going to stay home. I have lots and lots of things to do. Um, but they can all be done from inside the house, which is nice because it is cold out there. I hope you had a good week. I had actually a really productive week craft-wise. Um, somehow there are always a million things to do on the weekend, but um, I did pretty well this week, so I have some things to show you. Um, I'm excited because this week is Knitting in the Heartland. That is the biannual knitting convention put on by the local Knitters Guild here in Kansas City. Um, and our guests this year are Franklin Habit and Edie Ekman. So on Friday morning, I am going to take a class with Franklin Habit called Steaks and Zips. I still need to do my homework, which is to knit a swatch that I presume we are going to steak and then add a zip or two. And as you know, if you've been watching for a while, I have steaked several times before, um, but I have never put a zipper in my knitting. And so I decided that that would be um, a wonderful skill to learn because I've always wanted to do it, um, but I have been afraid to do it because um, lining up the zipper with the fabric on the sweater um, so that it uh, flows naturally and doesn't get too stiff or too loose um, is a skill that I would like to learn. And I'm sure Franklin knows quite a bit about it. So I am happy to have him teach it to me. Um, I'm taking that on Friday morning, then I am helping a friend of mine set up her booth in the marketplace. And then uh, Franklin is giving a keynote Friday evening, and then for those that are attending the keynote, there is a market preview afterwards. So that is what my Friday is looking like. I'm super excited about that. I have plenty of work to do before then, um, both with work and tech editing and uh, blogging and all kinds of things. Um, but I uh, am looking forward to a busy, fun week with a fun end. Um, my husband is running another run next Saturday. Um, he's doing the Garmin Half Marathon, um, which uh, Garmin is here in just outside Kansas City. So we will be going over there to do that. I'm hoping the weather is going to be significantly better. So far, it says uh, 49 or 50 degrees and rainy. Um, we can hope. Um, I hope for no rain, but 49 or 50 would actually be good. Um, that keeps it nice and cool for the runners. So that's what's coming up. Um, it should not affect the podcasting schedule for next weekend, so I'll have lots to report when I return. So let's get into it. Today I am drinking, um, it is a Ceylon Orange Pico from Simpson and Vale. I cut the bag because it was so tall when it came. Um, but Simpson and Vale is out of Colorado. That is the kind of their logo. It's an S and a V. Um, you can only see the bottom of the S, but um, that is what I'm drinking. I ordered several teas from them and have been quite happy with them. Um, and so this is just a plain orange Pico um, and I am drinking it in my Batman Skills mug, um, which is a design by Carl Mountainford. I purchased it on Society6. So just a plain black tea on a cold winter day. Ooh, that's that's really good. It's so good. Um, I grew up mostly on Lipton, um, just regular old Lipton. So a plain black tea is just fine with me. I add just a little bit of sweetener to it, sometimes a little bit of lemon juice, um, and I am good to go. So that is delicious. I'm going to enjoy that when it cools off just a little bit. So let's get into the knits and spins. Um, for the most part, it's all stuff you've seen before. I've just made great progress. 
this week. Of course, I have my Wolf River pullover. Um, and I am excited to say that I am in the home stretch. I finished the front and the back and uh, got it put together at the sleeves, so it is looking decidedly sweater-like. And I finished almost the full uh, first sleeve yesterday. So this is what it looks like. It is an oversized sweater with um, a lacy front. I opted to go for a stockinette back, so it is just plain. And then the sleeves are plain as well. And um, my sleeve is not quite as long as the pattern suggests it should be, um, but I put it on last night and um, it's pretty close to my wrist because um, it's a big drop shoulder and um, I still need three inches of cuff. So I am getting ready to start the cuff um, of the first sleeve and I am a chunk of the way through my fourth ball of yarn. My guess is I will have to break into the fifth for just a little bit, um, but not a ton because I probably won't get the whole second sleeve out of this ball, um, which means I will have done it in about four and a half um, balls of yarn, which is probably between 900 and 1,000 yards, which sounds about right for a sweater for me in bulky, particularly because it's oversized. I am pleasantly surprised that this sweater is oversized, but not um, enormous. I was a little bit afraid that it was going to be so big that I wasn't going to want to wear it anywhere um, and the sleeves are actually pretty fitted um, and I am sticking with that because um, I think it kind of balances the proportions and makes it not look like I need a sweater 12 sizes too big for myself. Um, so I'm very excited. This one should be done next week. Again, this is Wolf River by Melissa, Sesh Melissa Sesh Seshwari. She is Dandelion Girl, I think, on Ravelry. Yeah, I think so. Um, and for the most part, I have enjoyed it. I made a bunch of modifications. Those will all be on my project page. Um, I can recommend the pattern if you're looking for a fairly simple knit. Um, if you want something that's a little bit more shaped and fitted, uh, this is definitely not it. So um, it, it's a pretty good pattern, um, but there are things that I would do differently. Anyway, so that needs a second sleeve and a block. Um, I'm hoping to finish the first sleeve tonight and get the second sleeve started, started, but I have homework for Franklin's class and I just remembered that not that long ago and pulled some yarn out of the closet. So that is what I will be doing this evening. Um, but my hope is to finish this sweater this week so I can show it to you finished next week. Um, and then pull out something else from the stash to work on because April is whip month. Uh, for those of you who responded, I declared April whip month. Um, work on your works in progress, get them finished. Doesn't matter how long or short they've been on the needles, just get them done. Um, and we are multi craftual so that can be sewing, knitting, spinning, crocheting, uh, weaving, uh, there may be more that I can't think of, but um, I like to encourage maximum participation. So if you have anything that you are trying to get off the needles, try and do it this month. For everything you finish, you may, per you may put a photo of your finished object in the finished objects thread, and I will be doing a drawing for winners. The first project that I pulled out of Stash, which I started, I think, sometime last it's either spring, summer, or fall. I cannot remember. I'd have to look at my Ravelry page and I um, keep forgetting to do that. It is um, a lovely pattern called Banana Leaf. It is for a kind of a textured um, scarf, which I have showed you before. Um, it is vaguely rectangular, although it's got points at the ends. Um, so it's, it's kind of like a long arrow almost, maybe. Um, and I am knitting it in... Um, Northbound Knitting, which I have the label. I think I show this to you every week. Northbound Knitting. This is her BFL Silk Lace in her Metallurgy colorway, which is one of her um, big signature colorways. And I wish I had remembered to put a um, Progress Keeper on it last week because um, it is amazing what uh, 10 rows a day at lunchtime and a little bit on midnight and a little bit in the car and um, when I'm not driving. Only when I'm not driving. Um, will add up to. Um, and I know I am probably six inches at least longer than I was last time because I only had a very short amount last time. But I forgot to um, put a progress keeper in it. So I have just put a progress keeper in for this week. Um, so when we get to next week, I will be able to tell you um, what I have uh, done. So, but as you can see, it is coming along. Um, Banana Leaf is this great textured scarf. It's got sections of stockinette and reverse stockinette. 
so that um, it creates this kind of oversized ribbing shaping look. You can definitely see it when I hold it. I will probably block some of that out, although I hate to lose all of it. Um, and as you can see, I am indeed much further than I was last week. I just weighed the ball and I have, whoop, I just weighed the ball and I have about 63 grams left out of a 100 gram ball. So that tells me that I am probably a third of the way-ish done with this. Um, I will probably keep going until I hit about between 15 and 20 grams left because I think that's probably what I need to finish the point. There's some short rowing and other things that are going on. Um, so I don't know exactly, but, and I should have weighed it when I finished the opening section so that I could see how much I might need for the closing, although they are different. Um, so I don't know. I'm just going to keep going for a while because I can easily get to 20 or maybe 18 before um, I start to worry that I'll run out at the end. So my plan is to keep on keep awning with this one um, and maybe it will be done by the end of the month. If not, I will have at least made significant progress. So um, that is that one. Uh, once I finish my Wolf River, my other plan is to pick up Mom's blanket and try and knock that out before the end of the month. So um, that's my next kind of home project. I will keep going with the um, banana leaf right here, um, which is in this lovely mustache bag that was made for me by Kimmy Knits back in the day. Um, she used to um, do the podcast Come Knit With Us. They haven't recorded in a long time, um, but she's one of my friends. Um, after I finish Banana Leaf, I will probably go back to those Cherry Blossom socks that I was working on and cast on the second of those. And um, that will probably get me to the end of the month easily. Um, and then I'll have to figure out what I want to do in May. I haven't decided yet. I do want to knit another pair of socks. I've already picked out my yarn for the next pair of socks. Um, I have several sweaters I want to knit. I have several wraps I want to knit, mostly from stuff in stash. So um, I am excited to think about that and will um, look into that more at the end of the month. Like I said, I'm just trying to finish some things that have been on the needles. This one has been on for a year. Um, Mom's blanket has not been on for a year, but I would like to finish it in time for June this year. Um, and if I could crank out all the squares this month so that I'm just doing the border by the end of the month, um, I would be super, super happy. So that is what I'm working on. Um, I do have one more project on the needles that I'll talk about if I end up pulling it out. I may pull it out and try and finish it in May. Um, it's the Hitafude, which is a beautiful um, lacy sweater. And I would like to finish it because I would like to wear it in the spring. Of course, right now we're still in winter, um, but we will uh, work on that next. Um, and then, like I said, I have a million things that I want to knit and I have tons and tons of stash. Um, Going into the knitting convention this weekend, I don't have that much that I'm looking for. Um, I expect I will purchase a sweater quantity of yarn only because I need to do um, a sweater for Miss Roxy for her birthday. I already finished Miles and showed you that last week. Um, but I need a sweater quantity for Roxy and I think I have a vendor picked out. Um, other than that, I may try not to shop too much. I know it sounds terrible and I usually try and give myself a pass to shop at local um, local conventions but i have so much stash and so many projects that i want to knit that um i want to knit from stash already and so i'm kind of starting to feel like i might as well knit a few more projects from stash and then um buy some more things <laughs> after that so i may hold off other than on that sweater quantity quantity for Roxy I may hold off of course something I'm sure will catch my eye and I'll come home with something um I came home with something from um Ply Away and I said I almost wasn't gonna buy anything so we will see so let's go into spinning real quick um I spun up some fiber that I showed you last week. It was blues and greens and it was from Enchanted Knoll Farms it was a Happy Hooves um club from back in 2014. It came out nice enough. It is blues and greens and kind of a muted semi-solid. Um, I will say this was not really a pleasurable spin. Um, I've been having a few issues with my Hanson. I believe I just need to clean it out of all the fuzz, defuzz it, um, probably back all the tension off, maybe oil it just a little bit around the um, orifice and uh, that might help. Um, the other thing that I will say is that this fiber was, um, it was fairly sticky. 
Um, I don't know if there was like still lanolin in it after they washed it and dyed it, but it was fairly sticky. It had lots of naps and other things in it. Um, and so I just found that I spent a lot of time um, not able to even draft cleanly because I had to kind of pull it apart and pull things out of it. Um, I got less than I usually do. It's 3.8 ounces, which is not terrible for a four ounce braid, um, but typically um, with the fibers that I spin with, um, they are of a quality such that I get to keep most of them. Um, so I usually end up more with closer to four ounces, um, at least when they start as four ounce braids. Um, and so this one was okay, but it wasn't great. I think it's probably going to be a DK weight. Um, and I haven't decided if I'm going to put it in the shop or not. I'm so, so on the quality of it. Um, but I do need to knit another, um, Mario the Artistic Rabbit knit stuffed animals, um, for a friend who is having a baby. And, um, so I think I might use it for that. She's having a little boy, so it's good colors. Um, and I will be able to sort of isolate any parts that they don't enjoy. So this was an experience, um, and I uh, am grateful to have tried it, although it wasn't uh, the most pleasant spin this week. Uh, for my next spin, I went back into my stash. I kind of forgot with all the knit-alongs and craft-alongs and everything else um, that at the beginning of the year, Wooly Wonka Fibers uh, challenged us to spin from our stash this year. And while I haven't been going out and buying a bunch of stuff, um, and pretty much the only club I'm in at this point is the Hello Yarn Club, and I am down to a single dose. So I'm basically getting um, 12 bumps a year, which is uh, three pounds of fiber. So that's actually down quite a bit from um, when I was getting a double dose of that, plus the Southern Cross Fiber Club, plus all kinds of stuff. Um, so I am also working on um, de-stashing a little bit in, or not de-stashing, but not acquiring so much stash. Um, and I am still working at a fairly decent pace spinning it up. I don't know if I'll hit 13 or 14 pounds this year. Um, I know I will not hit 18 pounds this year. Um, I'm a little slow for the year because we've been gone a little bit and I know I have some other vacations coming up. Um, but I'm still spinning roughly a four ounce braid a week. Um, this week I pulled out some stash. From the first time I went to Maryland, the first and only time I went to Maryland Sheep and Wool, and that was in 2014. And I picked up two braids um, from Kimber of uh, Fiber Kimber um, Baldwin from Fiber Optic. And this is her card. She does 8020 merino silk um, gradient colorways. And this one is called Smoke on the Water, and it goes from a very, very light turquoise through a darker teal into a really darker blue into a really dark blue and kind of a smoky slate gray. So it's a pretty good gradient. I have two of these. Um, and so my plan is to spin an eight ounce um, skein. I'm gonna spin each of these through um, from one end to the other and then ply them together. So I have eight ounces of a gradient spin. Um, I don't know whether this will be for me or the shop, kind of depends how it comes out. I think it will make a stunning shawl. Um, so if anyone is um, potentially interested in this, um, I could probably be talked into parting with it. <laughs> if it um, meets your fancy. Like I said, I have two of the exact same, so I'm gonna spin them through end to end and then ply them together. I expect that will probably take me two weeks because it's eight ounces of fiber, so that will probably finish out April, um, but I am excited about those. And like I said, I went to Maryland Sheep and Wool in May of 2014, so they are four years old and I'm looking forward to using up some stash. I had saved them until I had the perfect project for them. And I don't have the perfect project, um, but I decided that it was time to start um, spinning some of them. Um, I'm kind of looking at a bunch of bigger spins coming up. I have six ounces that I got from um, ply away in that uh, silvery uh, Shetland and I want to spin that soon because I'd like to try knitting a shawl with that. And I also have, um, I've noticed that a couple of the club selections from uh, Hello Yarn in the last six months have been close. Um, so I think next I might actually do a combo spin. So that is what's coming up on my wheel. And I think that's it. I'm sorry it wasn't super exciting because I don't have a ton of new projects, but I am trying to crank through some things and work through some stash. And um, I'm starting to head towards summer when it was like 80 degrees this week. I thought, oh, wow, I'm knitting a bulky sweater. I uh, am ready to move on to maybe more shawls for the summer and socks. 
on that smaller projects, things that I can work on and potentially even use in the air conditioning. Um, but then of course it got down to 29 degrees today and so my bulky sweater was looking pretty good. So I'm actually hoping I won't have a chance to wear it before, um, before the season is over, but I guess we'll see how that goes. So thank you so much for tuning in today. I will talk to you next week after my class and I'm sure I'll have a few things from the marketplace to show. In general, I don't show my acquisitions, but I like to when I go to local fiber festivals because maybe I can show you some people, um, some goods from people that you haven't seen before. So I hope you have a wonderful week. I hope the weather is better where you are. My condolences if you are sitting in feet of snow today, because I know in some places around the U.S. that is what is happening. Um, I wish you a good cup of tea, and until I see you next time, happy knitting, happy spinning, happy sipping, and I'll see you next week. Bye!